Okay, I had all day to make this video and I knew I was gonna make it, but I had some shit to do so I couldn't make the video earlier. So I'm making it now, sue me. Um, I don't know why exactly I'm upset about this. Um, I really don't care at all about the fact that Microsoft has purchased Bethesda. I really don't care. Um, but it needs to be said anyway, you know that people are out there who have these kind of negative um, opinions on it. So it just needs to be said. How do you justify purchasing a developer to be exclusive to your console and you're paying them $7 billion, right? Not million, $7 billion to have Bethesda games only on your console. This tells me that Xbox and Microsoft are desperate because they can't do shit right with their console. Their company is failing compared to Sony. They can't get anything done right. Okay, the original rumor was that Microsoft was trying to secure WB games, which possibly could have meant that if that went through, Mortal Kombat would have been exclusive to Xbox, the Middle Earth games would have been exclusive to Xbox. But the fact that they got Bethesda is hilarious to me because who the fuck is buying an Xbox to play Bethesda games? Honestly, unless you love first person RPG games, no one is buying your console. Nobody, okay? You don't have any reason to buy an Xbox right now or ever at that point. You have no exclusives. So why bother paying Bethesda, a company which doesn't have a huge success rate. It has a good success rate, but not a huge one. You're going to pay them $7 billion and they may not be able to deliver on what they can promise. Look at Fallout 70 shit. Remember that game? Failed, okay? Um, you remember uh, Todd Howard? How is he still around? How is Todd Howard still in charge of Bethesda? It makes no sense. And you look at Sony, when they acquired Insomniac Games, they paid Insomniac Games, I believe it was like 300 million, okay? Which is a lot of money. But it's nothing compared to $7 billion. And they were smart to get Insomniac because they got the Ratchet and Clank games. They got Spider-Man. They got Spider-Man, okay? Who's going to buy an Xbox to play another Elder Scrolls game, to play another Doom game, to play another bullshit Fallout game? Nobody. They're going to want PlayStation, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man, all the other Sony exclusives that they've been having for years. And you guys still have nothing. You guys have nothing. You guys are paying this company all this money so that you can try to get exclusives. And there was a rumor that said because uh, Microsoft purchased Bethesda, not every Bethesda game that releases will be exclusive to Microsoft. They said some games will come to other consoles. That is complete bullshit. What company is going to say, hey, you know, we paid you $7 billion to have you work for us, but you can still make a couple of games for PlayStation and Switch. It's okay. No, that's not going to happen. It's not. If it does happen, then Microsoft is fucking stupid, okay? Because if you're paying a company like Bethesda $7 billion, the, you clearly are telling them every game you make is for us only. No one else. Everyone else can eat a fucking dick, okay? And everyone is trying to defend Microsoft and how they have all these games they can play. I remember a couple years ago, Microsoft announced all these developers they had who was working on the new Xbox games. All these developers that they were working with. And, they, and yet, they have nothing. What's up? Another Halo? No one cares about Halo anymore. Gears of War? Nobody plays Gears of War. Forza? I love Forza. I'll give them that. Forza's great. But we gonna but people are getting tired of Forza anyway. What games are there to play on Xbox? Oh, but we still have Cuphead. It's also on Switch, motherfucker. Oh, well, well Minecraft is good on Xbox. Minecraft is so accessible on every console out there. I can get Minecraft on my dick, okay? You can't justify buying an xbox except for game pass which is a great deal but the other thing about that is while there is a lot of games on game pass who is really buying a console just for game pass and just to play games that while it is free on the xbox of game pass it is also accessible on the other consoles and then another argument i heard is uh do you know xbox is much more powerful than the ps5 is it really though is it really though? It's not that much powerful. You're not going to see that much of a difference when you're playing a game in 4K on PS5 compared to the new Xbox. So why bother paying Bethesda all this money when it may not even succeed? The new Elder Scrolls may not even be that good. It's going to be an overhyped piece of shit. 
okay? And I don't think anyone is excited to play another Fallout after you fucked up Fallout 76. I don't think anyone wants a third Dishonored. I think people are pretty much doomed out already. They don't want another Doom. It's over, okay? Xbox, you have no games. You have no exclusives. You have no developers who are willing to put in the work to give you quality exclusive titles. You don't have it. Just give up as a console. Give up. It's over. It's over.